6.40 a.m. I've been up for like 40 minutes and I had the best night's sleep last night to the point where my alarm went off at 6. I hopped out of bed. I feel so good. So I'm going to get ready because this morning I am heading to the White Company's Brilliant Breakfast. So Brilliant Breakfast is a campaign that the Prince's Trust hosts every year and the White Company are hosting their own Brilliant Breakfast. I was going to do mine too but then my move day got pushed back so I wasn't able to, but I guess maybe they're still doing theirs now. Maybe I could if I literally did mine tomorrow. I'll see if like anyone's around, but it's really cool. The whole goal is to basically get your friends together, raise a bit of money for the Prince's Trust and have a really great breakfast. I mean, that sounds literally right up my street. But welcome to the vlog. I guess we're kind of at that time of year where they start in the dark and finish in the dark. So if you missed yesterday's vlog, this room might look a little different to you. I spent yesterday sorting out the dressing room, which honestly was probably the best use of my time. You know, one of those things you really don't want to do and then you start doing it and you actually get really into it. It was one of those and now the room just looks phenomenal. But Hammond's are actually coming today to do their final survey. I'm like, where's my hammer? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to having that done so I can get my installation date like firm, firm. And then I'm going to say to them, please do put me on the cancellation list if anything comes up in my area because I really, really would like wardrobes. I haven't even shown you my dressing room plan yet. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise. There's actually still a few things that I'm doing to the house that will be like quite a nice surprise that you haven't seen. Like I'm having small bits done to the kitchen. I have a landscaper coming over today to talk to me about the garden. Not doing anything crazy in the garden. I'm extending the patio. I'm having some turf put down and that's literally it. I have no desire to have a garden that is high maintenance, but I do want real turf, which means I need to get a gardener because I am not going to mow the lawn and I don't want to buy a lawnmower. So I think I'm just going to have to find someone that can mow my lawn every so often. You know what the dream would be? That one of my neighbours <laughs> would just mow my lawn for me. I might ask around. So I've just arrived at the White Company ready to go and have breakfast, but <laughs> kind of dressed for winter. I, yeah, I don't know. I was cold this morning and now I'm here and I'm like, okay, it's kind of warm. And I actually don't have a t-shirt on under here. I just have a sports bra. So didn't really think that through. But yeah, as soon as I stopped talking to you, the time just went like that. And then I was like, oh, I have to leave. But I'm here and I'm here on time. So let's go in for breakfast. It's actually in the shop, which is so cool. I'm here with this Hello. one. Hello, Emily dressed for winter and I'm dressed for summer I because know. I feel like this is going to be my last day that, that I can dress for summer. transitional yeah. season, isn't it? So the shop opens at 10 a.m. It's currently 8 a.m. So we're having breakfast in the store before it opens, which is really cool. How special. I know. For founding the White Company in 1994, which we all love today. Lottie is a young ambassador for the Prince's Trust. You guys, look at this. It's a dressing gown, but it looks like a duvet. I think the one that I'm gonna get myself is this one or this one. I think they're really, really sweet, but I do kind of love this. I wonder if they do it in white. If they do, then I may actually get that because you will know I love my duvets and wrapping myself an up. Duvet I know. Gown. It's crazy. I also love the men's pajamas. I was just having a little rootle and love these i think i might get these i need to get myself some new bits and bobs to kind of wear around the house especially after sorting my dressing room yesterday i've seen some uh some gaps that i need to fill i just love men's pajamas i i don't know whether it's because they're just slightly larger they're just so comfortable oh what are these oh they look nice We've arrived right on time. Our appointment is at 10.30 and it is 10.30 on the dot. How perfect is that? So guys, these are the colours. Um, they've changed. Look, they're on almond shape. Oh, it's because it's... They're fresh. I don't know what to go for. I think I might stick dark. But... Neutral. What is this? Because this, this is, is stunning. Um, bouquet and naked. Part of me just, just want to work one by one. Negligee and bouquet. Oh, so it is a combo. It's a combo. Oh, this is cute. Powder my nose, but I think it would go orange. Unmasked, I like that one. Cashmere wrap was my go-to. I'm over cashmere wrap. I had it too. And I'm over winter glow. I had it for too You're long. over winter glow? I had it for too long. Satin pajamas is gorgeous. You've had that, haven't you? I mean, I've had all of them. I think Linen Luxury was the first ever one I had. I think I'm just going to go Midnight Swim again, to be honest. I love it. And then I'll do signature lipstick in like three weeks when it actually gets cold. I might save that for December. I don't know. I'm going to do the same again. The nails are done. Nails I did wonder whether it was too soon when M booked in because we go together. So we'll alternate who books it. And M booked this time. And she's like, yeah, what about Tuesday? I'm like, mm, it's Tuesday it too soon. It was maybe a bit too soon if you put my head No, but then one peeled off yesterday. Oh, it did? Yes. I did say by Tuesday you're going to be like, oh, I need well, my Well, because, again. but none of them chipped. I moved house. None of them chipped in that time, which I was so glad about. But then, yeah, my left thumb peeled off. Don't know why, don't know how. But now I have 
fresh nails. I got midnight swim again because I'm just in that era. Sorry, it's very shadowy Usually here. Usually we can go like two to three weeks with nails, can't we? But yeah. when, when one chips, they seem to all chip and I then know. it's a problem. And then you look at them and you're like, okay, I'm gonna need to fix this. They look gorgeous, I love it. You are literally the dark witch today <laughs> and I am the, the light. Well, don't quote Andreas. I'm quoting Andreas. <laughs> Emily is the dark witch and what is M? Bright sunshine. The sunflower. That was it. <laughs> Gosh, but yeah, the I had one of literally the best nail techs do mine. Oh, and she's amazing. she's amazing. So is your girl, actually. She's great at French. They isn't she? are both amazing. They're so nice. We each had the nicest girly chats in there. We went to London Grace in Belgravia. Actually, they're always so, like, particularly nice in there. They're just wonderful. But we're going to go and get a snack now. And I'm home. I just had the landscaper come round and take a look at the garden and measure up and everything like that. So I'm just going to wait for a quote back from there. And I'm currently waiting for my dry cleaner to come and pick up my, my dry cleaning, of course. So, yeah, very productive day. I actually am also waiting for the Hammonds surveyor to come back. Basically, he came this morning to measure up and he's gone away. He's going to go and finalise all the designs and then come and sit down with me, talk me through them, and then this is like the final, final sign-off. But I just been sat doing some editing, but I do want to work out because, as I said in yesterday's vlog, I have not worked out since last week, last Wednesday. A long time for me. And actually, you know what? I think my body's probably loved the break. Oh my gosh, I did it. I kind of got to the point of working out where I was leaving it another day, and another day, and another day, and then, you know, it just gets less enticing every single day, and the longer you leave it, the harder it is. And honestly, today's the first day where I kind of felt like I had the kind of capacity to do it, because I've had something else I should be doing every day. But, oh my goodness, I feel... Why do I drop everything? I feel amazing for that, but I know I'm gonna feel that in the morning because it's been a hot minute since I've done anything. So I've earmarked tomorrow to clear all of this up. I was gonna do it today, but then I ended up being out for way longer than I thought I was going to be. The breakfast was so good. We had a talk with a member of the Prince's Trust and then it was the owner of the white company, which is so crazy. And then there was a Prince's Trust, young person they call them, who had completed the, one of the programs. She did the confidence one. The statistics they shared today kind of, it, it's just crazy. I mean, obviously I feel like I'm very informed when it comes to the Prince's Trust and their work, like very, very informed. I'd been to a program and spent, you know, the morning actually on program, seeing what they do. I, it's like so one of my goals to be even more involved with the trust and what they do because it is so good and it is like literally life-changing. But hearing the statistics today of, they were speaking about women specifically and how getting into the workplace is so much harder. And they, I can't remember what the percent was, but they basically asked like, are you, are you afraid of your future essentially don't take that word for word but it was something along the lines of that and it was something mad like 65 percent said they were like unsure and afraid of the future and that just I, I see it i get it but it's just i think hearing that number is just such a reminder of like we need change i think that teenage age when you have to decide what you're going to do with regards to kind of further education or even like after college is so scary i remember being that age and i had a bit of a weird time at school at that age my mental health was not great and i just remember uh, the person who was supposed to be looking after my university application, I didn't know what you, they call them, like your mentors or whatever, it was like a member of staff. She said to me, yeah, you're not applying, are you, Emily? And I was like, aren't I? <laughs> like, am I not? Like, I got really good grades and everything, but I was just not in the room. And she was like, well, you haven't really showed, you know, expressed any interest in applying. Maybe you should, like, take a year. And I was like, well, have you seen my grades? And she was like, well, no. And then she looked at my grades and she was like, oh, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> like, yeah, and like, she's like, oh, well, you can go to uni. And I'm like, well, I know. But at the same time, I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I've never really spoken about my journey with, like, the end of my education. But I left school because of my mental health. And my, my goal, my plan was to basically start year 13 again. So I left in the October of year 13, so that second year of A-levels. When I was there, you did, like, AS and then A2s. But I think now you just do two years of, like, a levels and yeah i was not well i left in the october and my the plan with my school was that i would restart in september finish off my year 13 and then decide what i wanted to do further education wise and it just so happened that by the time it came back round to re-enrolling and starting the year again i was living in london i was working full time i had things going on that i was passionate about and i was 20 million times happier in my day-to-day -day life so i didn't actually go back to school and finish my a levels and yeah, I don't know. I just think, I think education's very strange and I have a very difficult relationship with education and the education system that I personally went through. I went to state school, but I went to a girls' school. So I think maybe my experience of school is a bit skewed. 
I don't know. I just hated it. I really felt so trapped. And the effect that had on my mental health was just detrimental. But anyway, I'm gonna go and get in the shower because I am very sweaty. <laughs> I feel like it's getting darker so much earlier already. It's literally 5 p.m. and it already feels a bit like dusk. Well, not dusky, that's dramatic, but darker. So I've just recurled my hair and I'm going to start getting ready. I really try and not do my makeup twice in a day but I feel like I could not have gone in my like post-workout makeup. Well, I could have and I would have looked seriously glowy and it probably would have looked okay but I just down knowing that I sweated in that makeup could not have done that. But I want to get ready a little earlier because I have some parcels to unbox with you. I'm pretty sure the one of them is a food parcel that I ordered, which I'm very excited about. So I'm going to do my makeup super quick. I've got my like 10 minute makeup down to a T and then I'll take you downstairs and we can do a little unboxing. I also need to decide what to wear because I have no idea. It's that weird weather where I probably do need some kind of long sleeve or like jacket even for just like coming home. Maybe I try and find like a long sleeve t-shirt. I also have a skirt that I want to wear. I forgot to tell you, when the Hammond's surveyor came earlier, he basically came to do the final measuring up and then I had to sign off all the designs as like a final like actual in-person signature. I changed a few things. So I'm having my dressing room in here, which is like the whole room is going to be cupboards. And then in the gym, which is the orange room, I'm having cupboards put in either side of the chimney breast. That's kind of how it was when I bought the house and I really liked how that kind of looked and it was just really great for storage and then I'm also having some in the drawing room just as like a not like a tv unit it's more just like a storage unit and like bookshelf so I changed the one in the gym because one of them was going to be a hanging rail but they're quite shallow so it was a hanging rail one of the ones that kind of like faces you instead of being sideways it like faces you and you kind of pull it out and I was like yeah I just don't think that's going to be right so I swapped it for shelving which I'm really happy about because it means I'll be able to store all of my like products that I want to use and all bits and bobs like that. So I am so happy that I did that. Even just like some linen I'll be able to put in there. And I really feel like I was lacking shelf space. So I'm so happy with that decision. Okay, I've just put some uh, pajamas on for now, but I'm gonna go and get my parcel so we can open it. And I really hope it is what I think it is. Okay, yes. It is what I think it is. It's from Ship to Mill. I mentioned this in a vlog the other day, but because I have nothing in terms of kind of baking ingredients, it allows me to kind of buy them in bulk and buy them therefore from places that I, I'm never gonna order like one bag of flour from a specialty mill. But because I needed multiple, I decided to order all of my flour from Ship to Mill. I've never ordered from here before, but I mean, they have a Royal Warren, so I was like, ooh, they, you know, they're, they're, they're legit. But no, I also did a lot of research and kept coming back to this. So I got wholemeal spelt flour. This is for sourdough. A lot of this is for like cooking and baking. I got some white spelt flour, again, for sourdough. By the way, I got the smallest quantity I could get because I want to try them and see what I like and what I don't like. And obviously don't want to end up with huge quantities if I don't like it. I got the Canadian strong white flour. Again, I'm gonna use that for bread. I got some Baker's number one white bread flour. And then some of these are packaged so beautifully. I got some double zero flour for making pasta. This is just plain traditional flour. How sweet is that packaging? I got some self-raising flour, again, just for like baking. And finally, I got some soft bake and pastry flour. So for like cakes and things, I got this. But yeah, I was really excited to get that. Obviously trying something new. You never know if you're, you know, gonna get on with them or going to like them. But if I do, then I'll definitely be placing another order for kind of, you know, the bigger quantity. I mean, I get through a lot of flour, so this is very exciting. And this is all going to go in the pantry cupboard. <laughs> it's, the, it's the little things, but this to me is so exciting. This is what... I want to wear. It's new in and I want to wear it, but also if it drags on the ground, that's gonna be a real problem. But I do have a shorter one, actually. Maybe we do the shorter black silk skirt. Some kind of top, but long sleeve top, because I don't wanna get cold. It doesn't even look that cold out there, but I'm just so afraid of being cold every moment in my life. Does anyone else just hate the cold? So this is the skirt and you know what? I might actually just take a trench. Oh no, I gave my trench to the dry cleaners. I wear this as a dress. I mean, I have about 10 minutes to finish getting ready or I'm absolutely going to be late for the dinner as. I've decided to wear the new Massimo cardigan. I've got all different shades of gray and black on, but I think it's fine. <laughs> it's like dark outside anyway, so no one's gonna see me. I hope the restaurant's not too, uh, too brightly lit. 
but it's fine. I actually need to pick a bag. Maybe I'll do my little velvet black Chanel. That could be quite cute. Oh, I don't have it. Okay, well, it's gonna be a Prada re-edition day. Should I take the strap off? Yeah, I think I'm going to. She's so cute. It's just my perfect bag. You know what, when I got this bag, I was really worried I wasn't going to use it as much as I have. I was like, okay, like it's a bit grungy. Maybe it's not quite for me, but I wear this with everything. I even wear this if I'm wearing like workout clothes and I need a bag that feels like a little bit more casual, but it's still like really, really lovely and feels special to me. So yeah, this is my little outfit for the evening. I need to like shake my hair out a little bit. I feel like I always do that after I finish showing you what I'm wearing and my hair looks crazy. I edit these clothes clips and I'm like, huh, they, I hope they know I don't leave the house like that. <laughs> but I'm not gonna bring my camera with me because she doesn't fit. But I will catch up with you a little bit later when I get home. I, oh, do I have, no, I haven't unpacked my perfume yet. We'll do that tomorrow. I'm gonna do Penhaligon's Babylon because it's what I have in my atomizer. And let's go and brutal through some bags and see what fragrances we can find. No, lipsticks. <laughs> Apparently there is no lipsticks anywhere. Well, I'm wearing the lip liner from L'Oreal that I love, which is Sen Sunset, I believe. So I'm gonna bring this. And then I need to find, I think it's downstairs in my other bag, my powder and my other lipstick, just so I can use my powder to see what the heck I'm doing because right now I'm going in blind. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you later. Hello, hello. I think tonight was about to be the night that I forgot to end my vlog. I just walked in, literally with my bag, scrolling, and I was like, oh yeah. We ended up going on like an hour's walk, just walking and talking, and it was just one of those nights where it was so lovely. It's really like mild out there, but it's not really what I planned to do. But I've had a lovely evening out. I'm very excited to get into bed and get my, uh, get my makeup off. That's what I'm really excited to do. I would also give my outfit tonight an eight out of 10. I'll be re-wearing this combo for sure. When I got this uh, cardigan, I originally wanted the other color and I got this and I was like, ooh, love it, but really wanted the other one. But you know what? I'm so happy that that's how it worked out because I think I can wear this with more things because of the color. Funny how things work out, isn't it? I wish I'd film this look for TikTok actually. Maybe I'll recreate it. I don't know if I told you this yesterday, but I had the best night's sleep ever last night. Yeah, no, yesterday? This morning, I did tell you this. Today feels like it's been three separate days. The breakfast this morning feels like it was a different day. It's really crazy. But yeah, I woke up this morning and, and I wish I could wake up that way every single day. You know that moment when your alarm goes off and it doesn't hurt and you like wake up and sit up and you're like, ah, oh, it's morning and it's like 6 a.m. You're like, ah, oh, this is great. But I'm going to sit in bed and plan out my day. I have a big filming day tomorrow. I need to put everything away off the kitchen island. I have something housewise. Someone's coming tomorrow. I need to look at my calendar. The amount of hours I spent this last like four days on the phone to companies is ridiculous. I am getting my fridge serviced. I'm getting, you know, even just like broadband. It just takes so freaking long. I'm happy that I'm getting it all done. And younger me would be very proud of grown up me just getting on with it and doing it and just, you know, calling people. <laughs> but yeah, I also have one more hamper to unbox tomorrow. I know you're all really enjoying the uh, the house unboxings and then hopefully by the end of next week I feel like I have the house in a bit more of a, a state to have people over. I really just wanted to give myself a couple weeks before I kind of you know had anyone around because I just wanted to not feel pressured like I have so many of my friends that I really want to have over and host them and I want to kind of show them the house but I just really want it to be at a point where everything has somewhat of a home even if it's just the kitchen. I also in tomorrow's vlog I'm going to talk through some of the things that I am pleased that I did in the house and some of the things I'm already feeling a bit like meh about because I've had so many questions about that. But yeah, if you've made it all the way to the end today, give this video a like and I will see you bright and early in the morning where I'm having a total at home day. I feel like I've been out for the majority of today, which has been really lovely, but also I haven't gotten anything done housewise. I've literally just been working all day and then had a lovely evening. So <laughs> productive in some sense, but not every sense. Oh, it worked out today though, didn't I? Oh, I'm really proud of myself for that. Okay, well, I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.